Hi Pisces Sun Moon or Ascendant, this is Dane and I'm going to be doing your December 21st to the 31st 2018 reading for you. Now I've already shuffled and meditated upon the cards. I'm just giving them a couple good shuffles here, connecting with your energy, making sure you hear the message from spirit that you need to hear. Now I'm going to be announcing the winner of the free reading that is being given away on November 24th. 25th. There we go. Because today is November 24th, I believe. And so you guys get to see who won. And I'm so thrilled that so many of you guys participated. It is absolutely amazing. I'm going to be doing another free giveaway because I think it is good to give more than just one person a chance to win. And if you guys would like to book a private reading with me, all that information will be in the description box below. And I want to thank you guys for being on this journey. I can't believe that this is the last reading for, oop, there we go. We're going to stop here for 2018. It's been amazing. The Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups. Well, that's beautiful right there. The Lovers. Wow. Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Okay. I love this row. This row is a bit more struggle. This is all in the mind though, which is really interesting. Oh, and you have the tower. Okay, cool. That's cool because it balances out really well. So I don't want you to sit there and be like, Dane, I have the tower. I have the five of swords. I have the seven of swords. What the heck is going on here? It's okay. Everything is okay. Breathe slowly and know that things are going to be moving on because things are changing. And I think that's where this tower energy comes in. I think you've actually been going through a tower time, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant you've really sat there and you've been looking at things and going like, what the heck is going on? When are things going to get easy? When am I going to start moving forward and getting and achieving the life that I want? You know, there's, I feel a lot of, of that going on right here. And now that things are changing and now that things are moving forward, your clarifying cards are saying rest because you'll be able to see the blessings that are coming and know that this time of turbulence was here for a reason and that it's actually getting you closer to that excuse me, that soulmate, beautiful love that you desire. And if you're not looking to fall in love with somebody, a, um, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, you are going to be moving forward in healing, beautiful love, in love that's going to encompass you and get you to be able to, like loving your work, loving what you do, help you be able to get to that place of personal prosperity and personal happiness. Your first card here is the Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. This is a new season. I love that it's coming. This is the last reading for 2018. You're embracing a new year. You are really embracing this new time. Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Nothing is going to stop you from sitting there and saying, yes, it is my time to shine. Yes, it is my time to move forward. Yes, this is what I want. Now, know that this can be a bit of a roller coaster. And I know you've already been on a roller coaster ride. So you might be sitting there and going, oh, great. Yay, Dane. More turbulence to come. Yes, a little bit. But... It is going to bring you to where it is that you want to be. And this is a changing of a season. This is your life doing a 180. This is you really embracing this change and saying it is time to move forward. And it is time to kind of clean house and sit there and really focus on what it is that I want from the world. Focusing on it in work, focusing on it in everyday life. You are really starting to sit there and, sit and find your purpose. Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. If you have already found your purpose and you already know what it is that you desire, things are going to be changing to bring you closer and closer to really being joyously satisfied with your life. It isn't going to happen all at once because we have the Page of Swords. You're actually learning what it is that you want. Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Now this can also represent an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius. But this is also sitting there and saying you're going to be a student of what it is that you desire. You're going to be a student of what it is that you want. You're getting these messages. You're cutting through doubts and fears. And you are moving forward in determination and, and gusto. There's a bit of fierceness to you that's coming into play. Now, you might find at this time that your tongue can be a bit sharp. Okay? Don't. Don't let it be. If you can help it, sit back and think about things before you speak. And I know... Personally, I, I do the same thing. Sometimes these words come out of your mouth and you are like, wow, I didn't mean that to sound so harsh or you're not thinking about how the other person will interpret it. So 
just make sure that you're coming from a place of light and love so that you know that even if somebody misinterprets your words, that you meant it from a good place and that you can start that healing process and to move things forward. But this is you really knowing and learning, not knowing, but it's more of you learning in the back of your mind, probably in your subconscious, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, you know what you want. It's getting it to the surface. That's going to be the challenge. And now that you're studying what it is that you desire, you're studying what it is that you really want, and you're embracing this change, and you're saying, I've been through this. Kind of like I've walked through hell and back. What is it? Like you walked to Mordor, pretty much. Now you are moving forward. Now you are sitting there and saying, this is what I want from life. And I have been through this. I have been through turmoil. I've been through this karmic debt. And my life has changed in a way that most people will never understand. And now I'm moving forward because you have the 10 of cups here and the 10 of cups is almost like, and they lived happily ever after, you know, card. It is love. It is joy. It is happiness. It is peace. It is beauty. It is blessings coming into your home. It's realizing that you don't need to keep up with the Kardashians or the Joneses or write your own great Gatsby. Okay. It's that you need to be happy with the life that you have. And sometimes simpler is better. And I know the world doesn't want you to think that. And I know the world wants to sell you everything all the time to make your life better and make you happier. But sometimes real happiness comes from embracing what it is you truly love. And for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, that's family, that's home, that's security, that's stability. And it might sound like the things that are completely uncool, but it's not uncool. It's going to make joy come into your life. For those of you who already have a loving family that you adore, it's really focusing on that fact. It's really sitting there and saying, you know what, I can do everything to make myself crazy and to be able to sit there and tell everybody, oh, I've done this and I've done that. But the real joy and the real happiness is going to come when the door closes and you don't have to prove yourself to anybody else. Focusing on that mentality of the door closed mentality of sitting there and being content within yourself, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, it's going to really start to change things because instead of sitting there and saying, oh my gosh, what will people think? Oh my gosh, why should I do this? How can I do that? You're going to sit there and say, will this make me happy? Will this add to the joy in my life? Yes. Then brilliant. Do it. No. Then kick it to the curb. You don't need it. For some of you, this could be love that starts a family. For others of you, this is focusing on family love. For those of you still, this is love that speaks to your inner child and starts setting it free, starts setting you free in a very real, very healing way. It depends how it resonates with you. Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, that's how you're going to be moving forward. The Seven of Swords is taking all your knowledge and all your understanding and walking away from something that no longer fits. The angels are guiding you. Well, they're not guiding you, but they're helping you carry your load, okay? They're carrying something that's too heavy and you're leaving something else behind. You have to leave it behind, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You can live in resentment for your whole entire life, okay? Or you can move forward and you can sit there and say, within my mind, within myself, that is a place I do not need to go, okay? This way be dragons, right? So you keep on moving forward towards your truth. Leave behind the doubts, leave behind the fears, leave behind the anxiety, that bit of knowledge, okay, that it could have happened from childhood. Whatever it is that makes you think of you being worthless, okay, and by that I mean it makes you think that you are worth less than everybody else around you, that is what needs to go away. Or for some of you, it could be what you think about that brings forth an anger and a rage within yourself, in your soul, which is probably because you makes you feel worthless than everybody else. Leave it behind. You don't need that clogging up your mind. Walk away and sit there and know that you're okay because you have the lover's card here. You have beautiful, peaceful, harmonious love coming into your life. For some of you, you might be meeting somebody, okay? And it might very well be an air sign. It might, because this could be kind of the infant stage of love. Even though you have this huge connection, it starts off with the page of swords. So it's something that you're learning. It's something that you're building with yourselves. Okay. This understanding, this love, this meeting of minds and moving together in something that's really permanent and really real. So for some of you, it can very well be you meet an air sign and you fall madly in love with each other and you learn what makes the other person tick. You learn what, you know, you two really desire from the relationship. 
For others of you, it's falling in love with your life. It doesn't mean all at once and it doesn't mean every single day, okay? But it means loving what you do. It's loving how you're moving forward and it's embracing your desire and your prosperity. But this is the angels fiercely guiding you. In this reading, you have the angels fiercely guiding you and it's moving forward to absolute beauty and absolute prosperity. And then you have the five of swords. You have people who have wanted you to fail, who are walking away, their swords crossed in supplication at your feet, and you are winning. Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Don't ever let anybody talk you into thinking that you are failing, that you aren't succeeding. You are winning, you are moving forward, and you know what you want. Even if at times you sit there and say, oh, Dane, I don't know what I want. I have no idea what I want. There is going to be a little part of you that does. There's going to be a little part of you that says, when I do this, I have my joy and my happiness. When I do this, I'm following my bliss. When I do this, my world starts to change. Okay? And it could be something really small. It could be something super, super small. And you might never have expected it. I'm going to use a personal example. I never expected to have a YouTube channel of reading tarot cards. I thought it was going to be, I thought that would be, you know, absurd. I hated public speaking. I, it was terrifying to me. I almost threw up after the first zodiac reading I did and then I had to do 11 more. It was horrifying, but it brought about a success that I would never have thought possible without taking that leap. That's what you're doing, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascended. You're taking that leap and you are, you are conquering this tower moment because your clarifying cards are the Four of Cups and the Tower card. The Tower card, I believe that you have had this tower moment. It's like this tower moment is something that you keep on thinking about and you keep on thinking, I don't want to go back here. I don't want to relive this. And that's absolutely understandable. Nobody wants to relive a tower moment. It's hard. It's terrible. It beats you down. It makes you feel worthless and drained and just exhausted. But you've come out of it stronger and better. Take time and rest. Take time to sit there and think about what you want. Take time and sit there and meditate upon the issue of what it is that you desire. Calm your emotions. And when you open your eyes, you're going to see blessings before you and blessings are going to come in the most unexpected places. Actually, I think it goes like this. Yeah. You are being victorious, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You are winning when people thought you would fail. It's making your life do a 180 because you have survived this. You are a survivor. You are a thriver. All right? Things are doing a 180. You are learning what it is that you want. Now, some of you are learning what it is that you love and embracing this love that is coming into your life. All right? But for others of you, this is you being a student of what it is that you desire, what it is that you want to know. It's also taking in the messages from the divine, from the universe that are moving you forward. You are walking away from what no longer fits because things are changing, because you have proven your success. Do not let yourself go back to a place of doubt. The angels are walking with you, even if at times you do not see them. Leave behind whatever is causing you anger, whatever is causing you doubt, whatever is causing you pain. Think of it and say, you know what? That's no longer me. I've survived that, just like the tower. You've survived it, and now you're moving forward in blissful, beautiful love. Not all the time, not every moment of every day, you might feel as if life is a compilation of these two cards come together to drive you insane at times, where you have your downs and then you have your blisses. But that's what life is. Life is this roller coaster, and you are living it the best that you can. And you are getting your blessings because of it. You are moving forward in bliss. You are moving forward in healing. You are moving forward with the combination of your masculine and feminine energy coming together to get you what it is that you love. There's a healing of your inner child. And there is real love coming into play here. Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Your subconscious message, oh, you are letting go of your doubts and fears. You are calming your emotions. When you open your eyes, you will see your blessings. You have lived through so much. Do not diminish this tower moment in your head. And do not sit there and think, oh, anybody could have done it. No, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, you have achieved a great thing by having the, still the capacity after this tower time to live in love and to find harmony. Your subconscious message is you right there, the Queen of Cups. This is love. This is healing. This is prosperity. This is you embracing who it is that you are. Now, this could also signify other water signs, um, Scorpio and Cancer. But Pisces, this is you. This is your reading. We're talking about you here. 
you are moving forward in healing. You are moving forward in love. You are being your port in the storm against doubts and fears. And you are embracing exactly what it is that you desire. Don't doubt yourself. All right? And don't think that coming from a place of love and joy is coming from a place of weakness. You are stronger than most people ever give you credit for. Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. All right. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. It's been an absolute pleasure reading for you and an absolute blessing to be reading for you guys. All right. Bye.